Recording episode three of Rocco on the Rocks. Action. Cue the music. What's up, rock stars? We're back with another episode of Rocco on the Rocks. I am joined again today by my sister Christina to co-host with me on this episode. Thank you so much for being here. You said you were going to come back, and you did. You stuck to your word, so thank you. Yes. So today on our scrumper dump menu, mm-hmm. we're just going to get right into it. We're going to get right into it. Okay, no banter, nothing. Do you want banter? We'll have banter throughout. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So on today's menu of Scrumper Dump, we are having a Cafe Coretto. It snowed today, so I kind of wanted something warm. And this is more of a dessert cocktail because it's really just a shot of Sambuca or Amaretto and espresso. It's a very, you know, classic Italian little, little something. Little something. Yeah. Little after dinner dessert treat. After dinner treat. Liqueur. Mm Mm-hmm. There's already amaretto in mine. Shh. That's fine. I did it before the show. Yeah. We'll do a little shot of Sambuca. For those of you who don't know, Sambuca and amaretto are like sweet liqueurs. Sambuca tastes very much like licorice. I personally don't think licorice, licorice. is sweet. It is sweet. No. Cheers. I think it's bitter. That's what it's I think. It's not bitter. Mm, that's a scrump. Mine is a scrump. It's a 7 out of 10 scrump for me. Yeah. You know, the proper shot of Sambuca is actually just the Sambuca with three espresso beans in the shot. Yummy. And then you take it and you, you bite down on the beans. It's, a, it's, it's nice. I've had it before. I like it. I mean... I don't like sweet things, but I can handle like this in something that's bitter, which is espresso. I like amaretto personally in mine because amaretto's... Mm-hmm. Okay. Nutty. It might have to be an audio only. It's going to be an audio only. Yeah. We're having camera difficulties this evening for those. No, we did fine. Let's be real. You didn't press record. No, I didn't. <laughs> it's fine. But we can continue on. Audio is fine. Okay. Yeah. So continue. We're still getting an episode out. That's all I care about. I have to get 52. Well, listen, we had the scrump. We had the scrump filmed. Yeah, that's going to be the clip. Yeah. Yeah, Insta Reel. Insta Reel, exactly. And TikTok. Um, yeah, but I enjoy Maybe I'll it. just put that on. Perfect. <laughs> on and YouTube. The, perfect. And the amaretto is um, nutty, so it, t- it tastes good inside espresso, I think. Yeah. Yummy. I don't like amaretto that much. I don't like a shot of it. I could do a shot of Sambuca versus amaretto. Really? I think it's because of the liquor. I flavoring. completely disagree with you. I can do a shot of amaretto over a bu- sambuca. Sambuco. Sambuco. Our our uncle sometimes has like the craziest sambucas. Like Uncle Santo, he has like green. Remember that one time we were over there and he Stop. had like green it sambuca. Was the, no, it was black. But it, but it sambuca, came out green, right? And it came out green. Dad still drank it. Nasty. They all drank it. Nasty. They said it was because of the sugar or something. I, I think don't someone believe was them. just lying. I don't believe them. Yeah. Don't believe Italians. The older ones. Why? They're so wise. Mm. You should believe them. <laughs> no. Just don't trust them when they're like, let's have Sambuca. Yeah, and it turns out green when yeah. it was supposed to be black, which I don't even know why Sambuca is black to begin. Well, I guess black. No, there's licorice. two different. Right, that yeah, yeah. one is like the black, I guess technically we could say, because we don't actually know, that's like the black licorice flavor, and then the white is not. Right. Or would this be silver? Well, it's not like tequila. No, this is white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or cl- white, because it's clear. Yeah. Clear. Yeah, like ever clear. It's a cake, Amori. It's a cake, Amori. Oh, it's a cake. I, I know. know. That's from my Big Fat Greek Wedding for all of you that are real fans. And if any of you watch it, that's the epitome of an Italian family. No, it's a Greek family. I know, but we are the exact same. Yeah, I agree. Like, without a doubt. Yeah. Everything is the same. I concur. So, as we sip on our warm drink to keep us cool from this, or to keep us hot, I should say, from this disgusting weather we're experiencing. We are experiencing absolutely disgusting weather. So chilly outside. 
let's discuss our weekend. So Christina and I had a very fun and adventurous weekend. We went into the city on we Monday did. because we had the day off and we went to Hamburger America. And Christina, actually, I found this place on TikTok, fun fact. I was like, oh, I really think this will be a good scrumper dump. I saw it a couple months ago. And Christina was like, oh, my God, I want to go there, too. Because Gregory, what's his last name? Mots. Gregory Mots is a YouTuber. Mm-hmm. And he created Hamburger America. He's the owner. He's Well, he's a restaurateur, but he's featured on a lot of, like, YouTube. He's friends... He's friends with a lot of, like, chefs that are featured on YouTube a lot. He's friends with, like, Babish, if you guys know him. He's friends with, um, he's friends with the Hot Ones guy. Really? Yes. That's a good friend. Yes. That's they did awesome. A, they I did love... him and another chef. They did, like, a series together. Jeff, Jeff, um, George Motts and mm. him did a series together where it was, like, best burgers. I think it was america but i know in this episode that i had watched it was like just the new york new jersey Mm, mm -hmm. region and it goes through different price ranges like best burgers under ten dollars best burgers between ten and twenty dollars and then best burger over twenty dollars it's like just as an example um and they featured a burger place in hackensack for best burgers under ten dollars and it was kind it was like the smash burger with the onions that whole Mm, thing it's mm -hmm. right in hackensack it's still open oh no way I want to go there too to try that. And then oh, we could go. And then um, the there was like two other burgers that they featured that were like more expensive and the most expensive. The one that everyone knows that's like on that's on TikTok. It's it's the one that Tavern Place. Mm. It's like that Red Tavern. It's like the burger. One of my coworkers went. Is it in the city? Yes. Oh, I don't know. It's it. very hard to get a seat at this place. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. To have the bur- Kim, I think had it. Did she? Yeah. Oh, the, what is it? The Orzo burger? Not Orzo. No. What's that kind of meat? Wagyu. Yeah, the Wagyu burger, that place. I think it's Wagyu. I don't think she went there. Mm, Pretty sure she did. Anyway, so he's a very reputable burger guy. Burger chef. And he opened his own restaurant, Hamburger America. Yeah, and it was a massive scrump. What did we order? So we ordered... Two single onion burgers, and their actual name is... Hold on, I'm pulling up the menu just so I could say it correctly. The George Mott's Fried Onion Burger is made with American cheese. And then we also got the classic Smash Burger. We got two singles of those. And it was... in On that burger, it's mustard, diced onions, dill pickle, cheese on a toasted bun. And it was a major scrump. Then we got a sandwich. We got the tuna salad sandwich on white toast and... That was to die for. Yeah, look on your your TikTok for the scrumper dump. I if you could try to like post it in here, try to post it in here, in this audio clip at least. Yeah, I can post the video of it, just no audio. I think you should try because it was. I mean, these burgers were to die for. They were piping hot when they got to. No, you. yeah. If you follow me on TikTok at Rocky P sixty one, it is a phenomenal scrumper dump, and the burgers are so good. Yeah. Major scrump. I yeah. loved it. I really did. Only because, like... Well, let's walk them through the experience. When you get there, you can go... You can either stand online and, like, eat wait counter, for counter service. service mm-hmm. Or you can just order at the cash register mm-hmm. and then get a number. And then there's, like, seating in the back. But you're not getting waited on. You just kind of, like, go sit. And you... Yes. But you have to, like, basically wait for a seat. Yes. Because the line is for... Like, you're waiting for a seat at the counter space, but there's a line for that versus the seating area itself. Because people are up and down and quick and like right. leaving it, it's easier to sit over there versus and at the counter go at an off time don't go at like lunch don't rush. go at lunch when they open you, they, they open, open at, at 11. 11 they're 11 to 10 every day 10 p.m 10 p.m don't go for lunch no. like don't, don't if you're trying to like get a bird unless you want it to go because if you want it to go then that's fine if you wanted to go, you could walk right in. Yeah, that's no problem. Mm-hmm. But um, if you're trying to like sit down and like enjoy your meal, I would say go at like an off time, like 2.30, 2, 2.30. That's when Rocco and I went. Yep. Perfect. We were able to get a seat, no problem. Because it's not like people are there to like like sit and eat this like huge meal. It's, it's like little burgers and whatever. Yeah, the burgers like, are it's a quick. decent You're size. eating quick, yeah. yeah. Two single burgers was like perfect. Oh, yeah, I was stuffed. I mean, the sandwich also filled me up, too. So good. They also have peanut butter and jelly on the menu. For I wish $5. That, for 
five dollars. Well, the tuna salad. Oh, the tuna salad was eight dollars. I feel like that's still pretty good. Yeah, that is good. Regardless, everything we bought. How much was the burger? Four burgers, a sandwich, and two fries. And drinks. And two drinks. It was only sixty bucks. I think that's pretty good. That was really good. That was really good. Oh, those Our burgers. coffee was more expensive. Afterwards, you had no. yet. How much was that, Christina? You're, well, it wasn't more expensive, but like in terms of like... I don't even know. It was expensive for coffee. Two oh. coffees and two cookies, $20. Really? Oh, that is crazy. I just had a black And I had an espresso. Too. Oh, yeah. It's kind of Single crazy. shot. That coffee was good though. Maman. Yeah, it, it was This is good, in Soho. This is all in Soho. Yes. Like it's, right off King It is Street. on 51 MacDougal Street, New York, New York. So. Very good. Highly recommend this place. Yeah, there's a few other like smash burger joints that I want to try. The one in Hackensack that I just mentioned a second ago, I do want to try that place. Mm -hmm. Did you say there's one in Westwood? That's what I was just about to say. Then there's one in Westwood, 8020 Smash. It's like right across the street from the brewery that just opened, Twenty um, Five Dimes. And it's like Mm -hmm. inside of a deli. Um, it's open like at night and they do like late night snacks, but smash burgers is like their thing. Late oh, night, nice. like snack wraps, which I think is fun and fresh. Yeah. Snack wrap is always good. But they you know, do that Hoboken, and I've been wanting to try and that's only in Westwood. Yeah. That's not that bad. You know, in Hoboken, there's like Taco Bell there. And I always like sometimes think about getting it when we're coming home. It does cross my mind, but I never get it. I always just get artichoke pizza. Right. I like artichoke. Artichoke is good on pizza. It's an underrated pizza topping. Someone just said that the other no, no, day. No, no, like the. Oh, like the the, the place. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. whoops! I do like their artichoke pizza. Yeah, for sure. But the place is called Artichoke, so that's usually. Well, what someone I get. was just saying that the other day, though. That artichoke is like really good on pizza. It is. I think that someone was saying that on my bridal shower. Oh, yeah, it's great on pizza. So that's what we did. That's what we did. And then today I had to shovel the snow yet again, which honestly, today was a lot worse than the first time it snowed because it was so cold. My hands, I had two gloves on and the cold was still seeping through the seams. Oh, no. Oh, my God. They were like I should have given frozen. you. Drew got me a clutch Christmas gift last year. Um, every year she gets really great Christmas gifts. But last year she got me the North Face Gore-Tex uh, mittens. That's nice. Which I like love a mitten. I might be like one of the few, maybe 2% of Americans like mittens. You definitely stay warmer. Yes. And they're Gore-Tex, which means that the, like they repel like, you know, mm-hmm. the wind, the, the that's, elements. That's the elements. So I should have given you those. People sometimes don't like mittens okay. because you they feel like your you fingers are up. restricted. I did not. I know. There was zero part of me that was going to shovel today. That's okay. That's okay, Pooh. Zero part. But happy for you. I watched you shovel. Oh, thank you. From the window. Thank you so much. Did you see that I cleaned your stairs? Did you? Yeah. Yes. But I mean, they're probably covered now. They are covered because I was like, oh, my stairs. And then I did oh, nothing no. about it. Exactly. I did it. Don't worry. Um. But anyway, to talk about your weekend... So I the also film fab- that you saw. Yes, I had a fabulous weekend. You guys were away, and I did my own little ting. Um, I celebrated my best friend's birthday, Caitlin. Absolutely love her. Shout out to you, Kate. I love you. And we saw Mean Girls, the musical. We actually went to Rosa Me- Mexicana first, but I had just dropped you guys off. Rosa at the- Mexicana. Yeah. Haven't been there in a hot minute. I know. But I, I missed wow. that only because I was dropping you guys off at the airport. And then on yes. my way back, I asked Because well, it's them, on the way back. Yeah, but I came home. I had to walk Charlie. I had to change. And then I went over there. You went to the AMC Dine-In AMC, right? Yeah, for sure. I wasn't going to Maybe like, I'll go and see it there. So we saw... Mean Girls. Well, I met them at Rosa Mexicana. Then we went over to Mean Girls. And let me tell you, though. I actually am remembering this. The merchandise they had for this movie was kind of crazy like, they had merch yes you could buy a large popcorn and get it in a burn book did you do that i would they have. did i didn't buy it they bought it how much was it oh i don't think it was cheap i think it was like 20 bucks that's cheap to me is it look that up wait yeah. i have a picture of the receipt but yeah you got um you got that or you got a bucket that said like mean girls on it oh my god mm-hmm. you didn't say that because I kind of forgot Exclusive about it. Exclusive for the podcast. Um, that sounds like fun. Mean, Let mean me girls, see. Popcorn. Oh, burn book. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, actually, 
How much? Fifteen dollars. That's cheap for merch. It was cheap. You could have also got a do you have a, a, of a bedazzled cup. No, I don't have a picture of it. Like if you got a large sodi, you could have gotten a bedazzled cup. You missed an opportunity here. I didn't want that stuff. I don't need more knickknacks. Okay. No, but it's just for like the fun of it. Like, listen, it when we went fun. to go everyone see was Barbie. wearing pink. We were all in black. <laughs> okay, actually, Janice. Actually, no. Um, Carly wore pink. Oh, Carly came. Different Carly. Oh. But she was wearing pink. But we all were wearing black. Oh. Hello. Boo. I know. I kind of was like, guys, we're not really dressed up for this. Mind you, every like. Well, you were Janice's. You were all Janice's. We were. Yeah. Was there a Janice in the movie? Yeah. Janice Ian. There was a Janice? Of course she was in the movie. Okay. Well, I don't know. They cut out some people. My overall experience of the movie, my thoughts. Did they bring back like like the boobs can predict the weather? No. Okay, oh my God, alert, this spoiler, movie spoiler is not alert. good to me. No, spoiler alert. I'm telling you guys everything that happened in this movie right here, right now. <laughs> so if you want to go see it and don't want to be upset, maybe just don't listen to what I have to say, but you should. Skip ahead. Yeah, skip ahead. Because we're going to talk about sex lives of college girls after this because I've been waiting two days. Go okay, ahead. yes. So let me give you my rundown. First of all, thoughts, thought it was a dump. I really did not like it. Okay. Actually... I didn't like it, but it's made for this generation and they like it. So that's fine. They can have it. Is that what we the have consensus is on TikTok? No, I'm stating this. No, but... But me and Kate and everyone, we talked about this. No, but I'm saying like from what you've seen on TikTok or like... I haven't oh. seen any reviews. Oh. Everyone's just like, Renee, Renee, which she did great as Regina. What did it get on Rotten Tomatoes? I don't know. Keep talking. Up. But I didn't if like the movie. my phone doesn't die. The movie is good for this generation. It was very prevalent to today's world like they had tiktok people making tiktoks in the movie and stuff like that so it was very prominent to or prevalent i should say to society today so that's why i'm saying it's the mean girls for this new generation and they can enjoy it because we have ours which is so culturally significant i agree and i'm not upset that we have that one and they have this one like okay it is what it is but again I really thought overall... 70% the, though on Rotten Tomatoes isn't bad. No, that's not bad. Look, the movie wasn't like bad. It just cut out... It, it, it's exactly the same. I know. We're same. comparing it to the original. It's very and hard. you can't. Like, I never saw the Broadway show prior to compare it to the Broadway show to be like, okay, yes, that's good. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I wish I had seen the Broadway show in order to compare it because if you watch it, not seeing the Broadway show, you're going to be like, this is exactly like Mean Girls. It's the same script. Except with certain scenes cut out and just music added to it, which it literally is. Right. But you have to understand that when it's a musical, certain things like are changed and cut out. And like, obviously, you can't have the same jokes that you did in that movie when it was originally made today. We were talking about this the other day. I almost prefer, again, this is like just my preference, but, (laughs) and I'm going to bring it up. Jumanji. Jumanji. (laughs) Yes. Listen, hear me out. Jumanji was a film when we were younger. It came out. I actually think it probably came out before we were born. But it did. with Robin Williams. Yes. Phenomenal. They have a new Jumanji. Mm-hmm. But it's not like... It's the same plot. It's like the same idea, right? The board game, all that mm-hmm. stuff comes to life. But it was like recreated for like this generation, I guess. And it wasn't like every line was the same. It right. wasn't like redoing the line. You're not redoing the script. You're not redoing the script. You're it just like redoing had, the story. It had, yes, you're you're revamping the story. You're, and I honestly... That doesn't happen here. Right. And, and it I really pissed me off. And I love the old Jumanji. And I love the new Jumanji. Yeah, no, no, no. Love it. This is not like... Jumanji. No. It's definitely not Jumanji. <laughs> I know these two. I know these two films are so vastly different, but it's like the same premise, like remake. That's a good example. I can't think of another one. No other movie comes to mind. But it's also like okay, this is also kind of. We saw Shrek on Broadway, and that was so good, and it was kind of like different a little bit. Certain things were changed, and it was a were they? fabulous show. Yeah, it was funny. They did a really good job. No, I remember, but I don't remember like. And even the, Adam's family, that like when we saw that on oh, Broadway, yeah, it's not so like good. that was the same script. 
No, but I feel like if we saw Mean Girls on Broadway, we might have different opinions right now. No, we might have. To, that's what I'm saying. We didn't see yeah. it on Broadway, so I don't have anything to compare it to, which right. is like annoying me personally on the inside because I'd love to compare it to what it's actually made from. Right. Versus the actual film. Which is a shame we'll never get that chance again. No, but it's We should have saw it. It's fine. That would have actually been cool to see it with Renee Rapp. Well, we didn't really know her until now. True. I mean, cool regardless, but I'm saying like... We I'm a big fan. We would have appreciated it if we knew big her. Fan. No, you're a big fan now. But anyway, Stan. I'm going to continue to spoil it. The whole costume party scene also pissed me off because in the original... But this Regina, one's about Regina, though. This it's, one's like it's not more really centered about ar- around the Regina. other one. Correct. Katie. Katie. It's more, res- it's more centered around... Regina, for okay. sure. And Renee Rapp does a fabulous job as Regina. Like no, she I don't does. Doubt like it. I'm not saying it like she's bad. I'm just saying the movie's a dump. Yeah. But and it's low budget. Yeah. The outfit sucked. I thought the sets were like okay. Like it really wasn't amazing. But whatever. The Halloween scene. I got pissed because Regina wasn't in like at that point, if you're following the script, make everything the same. Okay? Right. Like that's my mindset. Regina's in a uh angel costume in this musical like where's the playboy bunny outfit oh that's right that didn't happen mm. regina's just in, i mean she looked great in this i forgot that's what angel costume what for was, sure but was. they had katie in the same uh um dead bride costume they did yeah or ex-wife is what she is oh stupid <laughs> Do you remember in the original when Lindsay yeah. Lohan shows up? Yeah, like, oh, like, ex-wife. Because she has the teeth in. Uh, so she can't speak. So she's like, oh, I'm an ex-wife. That's not what she says in the original. Yeah, isn't it? Or is, is she a divorced wife? In the original? Yes. I don't remember now. I think she's I an ex-wife. I thought she was like a dead witch. No, she's a bride. Right. And then Aaron's like, whoa, you're so, like, you look so, you know. Yeah, now What are you? And she's like, I'm an ex-wife and he's a football player. Right. And I think he was still a football player in this. So it was so, it made no sense. It made no sense. The choices. I was really mad about it. The only thing that I loved seeing was Lindsay Lohan. She shows up, everyone, spoiler alert. She's the moderator of the Mathletes competition, which was so smart for Tina Fey to do. Really, really proud of her for that. Um, amongst all the other things she's done in her life. But yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm happy Lindsay was like, I'm coming back to my roots. You know, right. now that these are her, but you know, she's coming back to an amazing thing. Yeah. And I love that Lindsay's like back in films again. I know. Me too. I miss She's her. like getting her, you know, her feet her wet. Her groove so. back. Mm-hmm. And she shows up. She's the moderator and she's kind of funny mm. and, you know, she's perfect. What would have made it 10 times better is I said this. She sh- they should have had her sing Rumors, her song Rumors, in this movie. I disagree with this. I don't. I think it would have been perfect. That's an old song. And it wasn't in the original. Could have been in the credits. I know Megan Thee Stallion, like her and Renee rap song, I think is in the credits or it's at some point in the movie, which is great. They could have thrown Rumors in there. They should have. Sorry. But again, this generation doesn't know Rumors. But we you, know but it. But we introduce. This is how you introduce. And then everyone's like, what's this song? And then you look it up and it's like, oh my God, Lindsay Lohan sang this? Who's Lindsay Lohan? Look it up. Who's Lindsay Lohan? Well, these Hold kids don't know. I know. It's a shame. I know who she is. I know. Which is why I was so, when I saw her on screen, I gasped. I was like, <gasps> yeah. Thank you for, you know, doing us a, a favor. Yeah. I'll have to see it. I want to go see it. Maybe this weekend. Maybe I'll do go that. Go see on, it. Honestly, Drew has to coach cheer on Saturday morning. Maybe I'll just like go see it myself by myself in the theater. Oh, go do that on Saturday. Wait, Saturday wait. morning, bright and early, watching <laughs> goes to AMC. Get the get the burn book. Get popcorn the, bucket. I might. You should. I might. It's great. It, it actually looks really good. So we were talking about this movie. We were talking about Mean Girls. So the other I was day. telling Christina about my thoughts on Mean Girls and then I was telling her that Renee Rapp was also in a great show that I had previously watched. That you compared Regina George the character. character. Yes. In the show Sex Sex Lives of College Girls, Renee Rapp plays Leighton Murray and she basically is the Regina of that show and I'm upset because the outfits in that show were 10 times more Regina than Mm -hmm. what they had Regina wear in this movie. Mm -hmm. It was a dump. Anyway... Then I started watching Sex Lives of College Girls yesterday. Two seasons. Finished the whole thing today. Because they're only 20 minutes. Yeah. 20 to 30 minutes each. 
Yeah, they're great episodes. They're very funny. But Renee Rapp's character is honestly a goddess. Yeah, she's great. Well, she she's a great actress. Yeah, I'm really sad that she's like. I mean, granted, like I want to listen to her music, but I know she's like trying to pursue that. But she was really great in this show. This show's a very very good show. One of her concerts she sang with Kesha. I saw that. Did you? Oh yeah, I totally like looked at her entire Instagram. Yeah, they sing "Your Love Is My Drug." Oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a flex right yeah but she's really good in this and on it i'm glad that there's a third season coming out this year i don't think she's going to be in it though that's what i'm saying i don't think she comes back for season three but then i saw i think people or usa weekly us weekly one of those outlets they did um art we're writing an article on the season three and they said that she's coming back for like a few she's not going to be like a main storyline but she'll be in like a few episodes yeah, I think that's what it's going to like come to be, which is kind of annoying because they really do have to like rewrite the whole thing. I mean, I don't know. The, the I don't know what they're so. going to do with the yeah. third season. I hope it's good, though. I hope it doesn't like fall off. Because... I don't think it will. But I like shows like that. Like I liked, um, what did we say, the show that I used to watch yesterday? We were talking about it. The Bold Type. The Bold Type. Very similar to that. Like if you freeform. like the, if you, yeah, Freeform. If you like the Bold Type, then you would love Sex Lives, sex lives of, of College, college girls. girls. I know, kind of a tongue twister of a. It is. I keep forgetting the name. A, um, I know, of a show. But, I'm always like, da, 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 like. Yeah, but it's basically just about four girls in college, you know, freshman year. Um, they're so funny. They're so funny. And they're not really like that famous of like actors, you know. Right they're kind of like low key and Mm -hmm. that's what makes it so good i've noticed that i like shows these days where the actors aren't like super famous and i think because you know because you like you grow yeah Yeah. you like can just look at them in this character yeah in Mm -hmm. this character so i really enjoy it and i really enjoyed it i finished so quick i finished it in one day 10 episode seasons of 20 episodes it's a great Um, i restarted it like right away because it's, it's really funny. It's good. And like now I have to wait until the third season. So yeah. When's it coming out? Do you know when Spring, you did some research? Time. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. But yeah, overall, Mean Girls was a dump and they should have just had her like be latent and like they could have done so much better and they didn't. And I'm really upset by it. Well, I'm going to watch her in, mean, in this Mean Girls. Watch her in, the, in Mean Girls and let me know your thoughts. And I'll report back. What did you think of Sex Lives of College Girls? Oh, I loved that show. I thought it was hilarious. It's so good. I thought it was hilarious. I love the storyline. It's a super diverse cast, which I think is like fantastic. Like um, Mindy Kaling wrote, mm-hmm. wrote it and mm-hmm. um, she does an excellent job. No, it's, like they, it's a very, very funny, funny show. Diverse. And, see, and it's, they, it, they I think do a it's good job of relevant. being... Yes. It's relevant to college life, I they, think. They do a good job like of making stretched. it relevant for our generation. I like agree. The subtle posts on Instagram. Yeah. The subtle like, oh, you have this many followers on TikTok. Like, mm-hmm. it's so done well where mm-hmm. it's not like now the camera's changing to oh. vertical frame and like now I'm watching you make a TikTok. I hate, yeah. hate, hate, hate when movies shows anything does that that ruins it i agree it takes you out it does it takes you out of the whole show the whole scene yeah i agree so i don't like it and they don't do that nope. and that's why i think the show does is well. a perfect it does well and is like the perfect example for what any other movie that will be made in terms of relevancy to do i agree because like was that the first show renee rap was in i don't know maybe now i'm curious she was on a late- she plays a lesbian character in the show and um it's very good yeah no, yeah a, that's it yeah isn't it just mean girls on broadway and sex like like it literally yeah literally she got on mean girls on broadway stopped because covid hit and then this show picked up yep i gotta listen to her songs though i'm very interested she's gonna be at governor's ball in new york lol why lol i'm not going to that i'm just saying i'd go yeah okay I would. That's like, isn't it like Coachella? Is it? Yeah, just like for here. Oh. It's a festival. Festival. The other, the The other. The king is giving a festival. The girl that plays Katie though. Oh, I didn't know she was Australian. She's in a show that I like. Mayor of Easttown. Really good show. I never heard of it. It's with Kate Winslet. It's on HBO. It's 
phenomenal. She's basically she's a detective, Kate Winslet. The, she plays her daughter, the girl that plays mm. Katie. Oh, uh, is Kate Winslet's daughter in the show. Also queer in the show. Really? She's, <laughs> she's not in Mean Girls. <laughs> I know. She plays a really... I don't know if she's queer in real life. I mean, however she identifies. But um, she is a... She's phenomenal in, in Mayor of Easttown, I think. You should watch that. It's really good. It's like kind of... um, It's like criminal. Like there's... It's criminal. You know, <laughs> you know awesome. what I mean? It's crime. It's, you know, crime drama. Yeah. I love I love a little drama. I'm... um. I picked up Friday Night Lights again. Oh, no, that I won't watch. Why? It's actually good. No, I watched it before. I did not like. Oh, well, I I'm never going, finished I'm going it. between that and Teen Wolf. Oh, my God. You're really going back. I love Teen Wolf. I'm not going to lie. It's a very good show. Styles is the best character. Everybody says that. Because it's true. Yeah, I know. I'm not doubting you. Anyway. But, but that's it. Yeah, honestly, title of today's pod, mm. Scrumper Dump, Mean Girls, on Mean Girls the Musical. Mean Girls the Musical. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you saw it. Or if you're going to go see it, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Yeah. Because I'm curious. Yeah, I'm curious of what the general consensus is. And I'm is curious what show. your thoughts are going to be. You think I'll like it? No. No, I don't think so either. But I'm gonna I think it. you're going to say it feels really rushed. I hate when that happens. And certain scenes are cut too quick. Oh. Don't ruin too much for I'm me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. I just was not pleased. I was really, really, I went in with an open mindset. And actually Kate said to before she watched or when we sat down, mm. she said to me that she had forgot, she forgotten that it was a musical. <laughs> she honestly thought we were just going to be watching Mean Girls, like a remake and completely forgot that we were watching the musical. But this generation will like it so they can enjoy it. I'm not upset by that. We'll see what they say. I'm curious. I mean, Renee Slade. Everyone did a good job. The girl who played Karen was amazing. I really liked her. Who played My Karen? My name is Karen. I don't know the actress's name, but she was great. And she's gorgeous. Karen. Who is Karen? Amanda Seyfried's character. Oh, but original. you just said she didn't do the boob thing. That's like the whole point of it. Not at the end of the movie, but they like just have her boobs pushed up the entire movie. Oh, interesting. She's gorge. Oh, like completely opposite of what I would have thought. Oh, wait. Hold on. I don't know. But honestly, that seems hard to remake. The boobs? Yeah, because that, that's, that's Amanda's scene. It is. You know what I mean? Who does Ashley Park play? Oh, she plays the, a French teacher. Oh. I, I know. Ironic, right? Cause I find it a, funny cause that... Because she's in Emily in Paris. Yeah. And she plays a French teacher. Yeah. Yeah. I find it funny that Busy Phillips was in this too. I don't know who that is. I do, but I don't. I need the face. Wow, they even did. They, they redid the Santa thing too. Yes, but they didn't see. Okay, that was different. That wasn't like what a bright time. It's the right time. What was it? Regina just like falls. Oh. And it's called dancing around the pole. <clears throat> dancing around the pole, huh? Yeah, no. It's it's a little it's a little naughty. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, no. But they like try to do this stunt and then Regina falls and it's like, oh my God. Yeah. So those are my final thoughts on the movie. Well, let's come back next week for more. Yeah. You actually. No, next week is you have a different guest. Next week I have a new guest coming on the <clears throat> podcast. I'm very excited to have him join me. Should I tell them or maybe it'll be a surprise? No, a surprise. Okay. It's going to be a surprise. I'm very excited for the drink we're going to be making too. Hopefully it's going to be a scrump. I'm excited to find out. It will be. Yeah, no, for sure. I think that's today's episode. That is today's episode. Until next time. Until next time. Thank you, everyone, for listening to another episode of Rocco on the Rocks. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode, and I hope you enjoyed the scrumper dump that we had today. Try it for yourself. Make yourself an espresso with a little shot of Sambuca or Amaretto, and just feel good. Mm, after dinner drink. After dinner drink. But yes, thank you again for tuning into today's episode. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at rocco.ontherocks. You can also follow my personal Instagram and my TikTok, rockyp61. This podcast is also on YouTube, so please feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Today's episode is like half on YouTube, though. Yeah. Yeah. But it'll be fixed next no, week. No, it'll all be on YouTube. I'm just going to do what the toast does and just have like the photo. Oh, okay. They do that. Fab. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys again. With that, 
We'll do a couple shout outs. Shout out to mom and dad. Love you guys. Shout out to the fam. My sister, my sister-in-law Drew. Love you. My brothers, my poos, Kaylin and Mackenzie, my Bye. creative directors. Love you guys. Remember to always be your best self and do not forget to smile. Life's what you make it. So let's make it rock, rock stars. See you later. Bye.